I don't fucking read the comics. Outside of a few stories, I have no interest in reading the comics. Just clearing the air now, as this will definitely color my opinion going forward. Okay? Okay. Welcome to Kit Reviews. My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Earthrise Battlemaster Rung. This heroic Autobot was released in 2020 as part of Wave 2 of the Battlemaster assortment, and as a repack of Rung's Siege release the year prior. Special thanks to ID Armed for sending me this figure. According to the Transformers Wiki, Rung's alternate mode is a cerebral circuit scanner from his appearance in the 2005 IDW Comics continuity. I'm not impressed. Clearly, Rung has just been straightened out and is hiding his head like a small child would with a blanket to keep the monsters away at night. Out of all the handheld weapon modes exhibited in the Battlemaster class, Rung is far and away the worst, and that's counting the absurdly knobbly Lionizer and Dazzle Strike sword mode. The torso, shoulders, thighs, and legs are all plainly visible, and while visibility issues plagued the other Battlemasters, it's an inevitability of this size really, at least the likes of Fire Drive and Blowpipe actually appeared to transform. I guess you could rotate the waist around to hide the kneecaps, but that barely does anything. At least the overall shape is fine, with this weird conical thingamadoo attached to a flat cylindrical doodad at the rear trying their best to sell this mode as something that has a purpose. I just wish this round knob had some of the same metallic blue paint as Rung's chest orb, that would really liven things up. The bottoms of Rung's openly clawed feeties have a single blast port each, onto which can attach Rung's blast effects. They're translucent blue and look like what would come out of a cross between a Tesla coil and a leaf blower. Rung's transformation is just as absolutely bare-boned as I made it out to be in the alternate mode overview. All you do is untab the legs, untab the arms and flip them down, and flip down the rear to reveal the head. Yawn! Based on what artwork I've seen of Rung, his Earthrise form looks pretty spot on. I guess this is really what most people are after when they search for a figure of the character, as most of the effort has clearly been put into this mode. The head sculpt is very, very IDW, with his somewhat uncanny face, bright blue goggles, and a sculpted antenna sticking up on his left side. Compared to every other Battlemaster in my collection, Rung seems to get the lion's share of the paint budget, with his blue chest orb, yellow stripes on the pecs and forehead, and a pallid off-white for his face, sternum, and thighs. Hasbro really went all out trying to capture the likeness of this assumedly beloved character at such a small size, and I can't help but find that commendable, no matter what I think about the rest of them. Also, you can do this with his kibble! Normally, I would say it's a shame that you can't take Rung's backpack off and use it as a weapon like you can with the other humanoid Battlemasters, but really, what would he do with it? Search for coins at the beach? Rung has pretty standard articulation for a Battlemaster. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can go outwards and all the way around, forwards and backwards. Isn't that wonderful? He also has ball-jointed hips that can go outwards and that can move forwards, though not backwards because of the kibble. Finally, he does have something at the waist. While Fire Drive and Blowpipe had a waist hinge that allowed for transformation, Rung has a waist swivel for some unknown reason. It's something, I'll admit, but it's not very good. I admit the first half of this review comes off as genuinely hostile towards this figure and what it stands for, and while some of those feelings are true, I do still like this figure in the end. Like I said, I don't read the comics, so I have absolutely no connection to the character, but I like the toy's design and it's always fun to expand my collection with more and more unique characters. It's sort of like when Generations Drift came out back in 2010. It's a new character that's never gotten a toy before and it looks cool, so I wanted it except Drift is a lot cooler than Rung. All in all, I'd say a rank of crummy is fair, isn't it? If you liked this video or otherwise found it helpful or informative, then please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future, and feel free to suggest topics for future reviews in the comments. And once again, special thanks to ID Armed for sending this figure my way. When we return, it's back to Studio Series, with an entry that doesn't quite deserve its poor reputation, but only just.
This has been Kid Catastrophe. Transform and roll out.